Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. So today we're having a look at the new patch notes for UFC 6. I mean, obviously they haven't gone up yet. I've got my little uh, back-end sources to get you guys the juicy gossip. So we've got some good ones this time. We've got a full Ragdoll KOs back in that look better than UFC 2. So what they've done here is actually they've brought back the UFC 2 style Ragdoll knockouts, but they only activate when you get a clean, heavy knockout. So at the moment my game is still downloading. I haven't even got the latest patch yet. So once that's done, I'm going to actually go in and we'll, we'll test it out. We'll see if EA is going to keep true to their word there. Next up, we've got two new fighters. Michael Chandler, you guys know him. He's come from Bellator, lightweight guy. He was a Bellator lightweight champion and he's, he's one of those guys that everyone's kind of got their eye on. They're wondering how he's going to do in that division. And we've got Alex Perez, who was also a requested fighter. We've got, um, yeah, this, this is my interesting bit. This new fight now mode, which is called adrenaline mode. I have no idea what this is. I am literally going to go into it blind and uh, record it as I go as well and we'll, we'll check it out together guys. So on the next one we've got three new fight type presets to fight now. Now I'm hoping this is for custom fight now as well. Ready to install FIFA version 1.1? No bruv, no I don't want that. No it's 6 o'clock and where's the update? Anyway, hopefully it's out by the time this video is out. So three new fight type presets to fight now and these only affect round settings. I have no idea what this is. What I'm hoping for is we might see, um, you know, fists only mode, maybe kickbox only mode. I don't know, something like that. Or it's to do with how many rounds we can do it. Because there was talk early on about perhaps doing like 20 minute rounds and stuff, you know, like pride style, 10 minute round, five minute round kind of thing. I'm hoping they're playing, playing with that idea and bringing us something fresh because that would be great. I'd love to have shorter rounds, especially for my universe mode which I'm planning to start next year sometime once the patch is all done. We've got two new archetype choices for the creative fighters. So we've got Versatile and Virtuoso. Vir Virtuoso? Virtuoso. How do you pronounce that? Next up, we've got Online World Championship. Can now search up to three weight classes. Yeah, this is big. This is big for people that play online. And you know, you get like, you get home, you're gonna load up a game and then you suddenly find yourself in, I don't know, a division you don't like, I don't want to call one out because I've I got a few that I don't like. I ain't going to call it out, but you know you know the drill. And then you have to spend an hour playing with fighters that you'd never use. So now we've got three weight classes, so there's less chance of that happening. It's going to be more excitement, more interest, I guess, for ranked as well. So that would be cool. Now we've got added countdown, count, countdown. Mate, I can't speak English anymore. In Online World Championship. All right, cool. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing to do with um, when you're selecting your characters. Various fighter likeness upgrades, so they fixed Sean O'Malley and we've got a bunch of others. So we've got Alexander Volkov, the heavyweight, Carlos Condit, be interesting to see what they've done to him. Maybe his tattoos finally. Diego Sanchez, cool. Ketlin Vieira, I don't know who that is. Jessica Andrade, Benio, Dariush, Maquan Amikani, Daniel Hooker and Michelle Watson have all been updated. That's cool. So on to the next little tidbit of information i got. We've got uh, gameplay updates. They fixed an issue with Cage back clinch punch. Add a transition from half guard to sprawl. Add a transition from backside to back sitting. From back sitting to back side. All right, cool. We've got a few new transitions on the ground. That's cool. Ground sub ground pound submissions no longer require health event to enter. Interesting. Ground and pound submissions no longer require health event to enter. All right, cool. I'll have to check that one out. I'm not sure exactly what that means. We'll have a look. Ground game added alternative options. Slam in full mount. For top fighter to posture up okay that's like some GSP stuff right there man all right transition from K seated to full mount sped up tune various animations right I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that one out because uh, animations are very important to me scramble added to suplex from standing back clinch what does that mean scramble added to suplex from standing back clinch all right so I guess you can scramble if you get suplexed updated move sets for various fighters and let me see, has my update come out yet? Application installed to the latest version. Maybe I've already downloaded it. Let me just, just have a real quick look. I mean, PlayStation was off, so it's impossible for that. No, I've only got update five. All right, cool guys. Well, I'm gonna try and time this video so it actually comes out as the update comes out, rather than doing it in advance and getting in trouble. So uh, let's see what happens. If you guys enjoy the content, and then I'll see you guys in the next one where we actually have some footage from the new update. And like I said, I wanna test out these ragdolls, check out the new fighters, this new game mode I'm curious about, curious as hell. The new uh, presets as well, man. I want some boxing stuff. I want some different rounds. I want to be able to do some new things. You know what I mean? I'm quite excited, man. They, they're giving some attention to offline players. So this is good to see. 
And then, yeah, just see what these new uh, fighter likenesses are saying. All right, guys, catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden, and I'm Jitten.